While many are grateful for the warm weather we've seen so far this year, it brings some negative implications. Billings police say when the sun comes out, so do the motorcyclists. And as the number of riders on the road rise, so do the crashes. There's plenty of road, there's plenty of room. If you ride a motorcycle, you know there's nothing quite like an open road. The freedom is amazing. But that freedom comes with responsibility. There's riders out there that don't respect the roads at all. In Billings, the warm weather is returning, and so are the motorcyclists. But a recent string of motorcycle-involved crashes is causing concern for motorists and police. I mean, it's tragic. We know people, you know, that like to get out and ride motorcycles. They like to get out and enjoy the weather, get the air wind blowing in your face, and that that comes with high speeds as well. On March 31st, two motorcycles collided on Broadwater, killing one of the drivers, 32-year-old Eric Osgood. Then, on April 3rd, another motorcycle collision on State and Washington that killed one. Another accident on April 4th luckily didn't claim any lives, but left the driver with serious injuries. Which is why Tina Gaspar recently took to Facebook, attempting to level with non-riders. I was basically reaching out to the parents of this because it was a new driver, a young kid. These new drivers that are out there, make sure they know and that they're looking for motorcycles. Sergeant Jeff Stovall says the fatalities are unfortunately nothing out of the ordinary and fears it's just the start. I think it's it's it seems like it's a spike right now, but it's not. We're just starting the, the spring season earlier than typically we do. You know, we see fatalities and motorcycle crashes and that as well. A new controversial law took effect in October of 2021, allowing lane splitting in Montana. But Stovall says so far that hasn't led to more crashes. If anything, we've seen, you know, just your typical, you know, low injury, a, a bumper fender bender type thing. Montana is one of 32 states that doesn't require helmets, although Stovall says they do save lives. Regardless, with summer approaching, Approaching, Stovall and Gaspar have a reminder for both cars and motorcycles. Make sure you're with your surroundings before you chain lane, change lanes, whether it's a car or a motorcycle. Not excess, excess speeds and that type of thing as well. Just be aware. And if you are the rider, you know, be smart. Pay attention. If you're driving a car, be smart. Pay attention. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.